Welcome back to Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com. Well, it's been an incredible garage ed segment throughout the season, and we're gonna wrap it all up here. You know a lot's going on with this car? The computer system. We talked about the inputs. Now, the inputs were everything on this side of the board. We're talking about map, intake, map. We talked about a ton of them. Then we kind of move over to the center. Those guys were reporting to the computer. Hey, what's going on? What are we sensing? And from the computer, bam, we had the outputs. We had things like the EGR, the injectors. We looked at things that it can physically move to change that fuel ratio, that magic number, that fuel ratio. So let's fire up our board for the final time. I'm gonna fire this thing up. And I want you to look at that data because it's kind of mind blowing. This is only one screen out of six of data. I just handpicked some stuff to put up there. You can see everything's talking, the computer's looking at it and he's fixing the fuel trim. He's trying to keep it to that magic number. The key there is the top right hand box at 14.6, it should be 14.7, perfect fuel mixture, stoichiometric number. Now what do we do to get that? Well, it's time to pull out the magic chart. It's all about the fuel trim. This is pretty cool because I told you at the beginning, we're trying to get that perfect number. Now the computer, he has a go rich command on this side. Now when he's going rich, command corrects condition. So if he's going rich, that means the car is actually lean. You wanna look for a vacuum leak, a clogged fuel filter, something that's giving you too much air and not enough fuel. Now on this side of the chart, it's a go lean command. So if that computer's going lean, he's not turning on the injectors very much. That's because there's a rich condition. Those oxygen sensors down there are sensing not much oxygen and a lot of fuel. So that could be a fuel pressure regulator, too much fuel, not enough air. That's how it all works. But these sensors also employ a couple other strategies and I wanna talk about it right now. They use three things, integrity, rationality, and obedience. Now integrity, that's pretty simple. You you got the computer right here. When you turn on your key, well, it sends a signal out, and if it sees a signal come back, that's a pass. Rationale, a little bit different. If I take this throttle and I go throttle wide open, well, that should be a massive amount of air going through, and the RPM should be up around the four or 5,000 range. If it's not, it doesn't pass the rationality test. Last is obedience. Well, what is that? Well, if we go ahead and ask the computer to open up the EGR valve down here, he should see a big hole in the intake manifold and the map sensor should respond accordingly. Well, that wraps up Garage Ed. It's been a great season with Garage Ed. I sure hope it empowers you to get out and check out your car. Work on those sensors. Don't be intimidated by it. Let's check in with Brian. He's wrapping up this episode.